Welcome to the Two Guido Guitar Guys page. Uh, this is part of our automotive section. Uh, today we're looking at a 1968 Dodge Charger. Uh, this Charger, as you can see, is pretty much a piece of junk. Uh, definitely roached out over the last 35 years. Found in the uh, found in the woods or in the fields in New Hampshire. And the Guido Guitar Guys are out of New York, so that lets you know exactly where this vehicle came from. Uh, not many people can stand at the back of their chargers, right at the rear window and at the rear panel, and uh, see exactly what they've got left as far as an actual vehicle is concerned. Let me tell you a story about how we got to this point in time. It was 1978 or 79, can't remember exactly the date. I was really young at that time. It's probably uh, no more than six years old. Uh, I was sitting in my bedroom watching TV when I got a call from my father to come out and watch this show that was playing on the CBS Nightly Movie. CBS for us here in New York, Channel 6, uh, CBS, same thing as CBS News, the major broadcaster. Um, what the movie was called was Moon Runners. It was a movie about these good old boys running moonshine and avoiding the police, things of that nature. I don't remember all the details at this point because I haven't seen the movie in probably 20 years. I know it was on no, maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago, um, yet... I haven't seen it in that time. I've been trying to find a copy online and some other places, but I've been unsuccessful at this point. Just kind of doing a walk around of the car right now. Um, as you can see, it's got some different wheels, different uh, problems with it. Some real cancer. Um, broken windshield. Things of that nature. Well, anyways, on that date, I sat down with my father, and we watched this movie called Moon Runners. After watching Moon Runners, uh, we went and uh, saw a commercial for a good old boy show called The Dukes of Hazard. And let me tell you, I was excited. I believe it was a Friday night on CBS. As you can see, this is a 69. Looks like it has been a 69 Charger Fender that was put on a 68. Um, and this vehicle also came in metallic bronze. The color was the original color. Uh, but back to my story. And uh, I believe it was a Friday night at 8 o'clock. Or I think it was actually at that time 7 o'clock. Well, from what I can remember, it was an early morning time, or earlier time, where the show needed to be a little bit more clean in nature. If I remember correctly, the show, um, basically, it was a pretty decent family-type show. Um, and it uh, started off a little risque, but turned into a nice show. But anyways, over the period of time, watching the Dukes of Hazard through the 80s, fell in love with General Lee, as we all did. Had a chance back in the early 80s, when I was just a teenager, to buy a General Lee was a 68 Charger just like this. Well, not like this, but obviously in better condition. That was made up, painted with the 01 on the side, Confederate flag on the roof, and uh, the guy at the time was uh, asking only $5,000 for that vehicle. At the time, I was a young kid, didn't have the money. And that car actually stayed in this area, in the upstate New York area, for an extended period of time, and still to this day, Every once in a while, driving through the city of Gloversville or Johnstown, I'll see that vehicle um, rolling around. As you can see, I got a nice little Charger model on top of the car right now, just so my boy, uh, my stepson Wesley, knows what it's supposed to look like when we're done with it, and what the back end is supposed to look like, because obviously it's not there at all. And uh, after watching the Dukes of Hazzard, like I said, and after seeing that car and having the opportunity to buy one of these things over the years, um, I always decided that I, I wanted one of these cars and wanted to make myself 
a General Lee. Now finding these cars has been very difficult. I've been through one marriage, which did not last, just didn't work out between me and the wife. Uh, no harsh feelings, no hard feelings, anything like that. Um, however, just about to get married again, and my second wife is a wonderful woman and the love of my life. She is <laughs> not too supportive of this vehicle, uh, per se. Um, as when we went to go see it, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we go through here. Um, she was not very pleased at what she saw. And, uh, actually that worked pretty good. And if you look at this vehicle, the headliner is kind of toast. I know it's kind of dark, it's kind of dark in my garage. Headliner's toast. Rear seat is actually perfect on this car. We had cleaned it off before dropping some crap on it. Uh, and that rear seat is actually flawless. No cracks, no rips, no tears. However, it is very, very, very brittle. Uh, but I've been working with some materials that I found and it seemed to work pretty good on this front seat to soften up this vinyl pretty good. I'm very, very happy about that. As you can see over here, it's still kind of brittle. But the top portion of the seat, I softened up a pretty good bit. And we'll check the other side in a second here uh, for that. But anyways, um, in the year 2017, um, my wife and I, or soon to be wife and I, um, bought this house in this garage, which is an old, it's an old carriage house actually, still smells like the old, uh, you know, the old horses and barn with the old big barn doors. Bought this place in 2017 with the hopes of uh, fixing up the garage a little bit before I got into my projects. However, you know, life sometimes takes some turns. This project here, uh, 300ZX Twin Turbo, purchased this car back in 1999, um, also known as Catfish Z, uh, TwinTurbo.net. Give them a little shout out here, TwinTurbo.net. Um, Username Tystar, T Y S D A R. Um, and this vehicle basically got me through a lot of years, especially when I didn't have the wife. Put a lot of work into this car. Uh, right now she's sitting because I did a engine upgrade, which we'll see in the back end of the um, back end of the video. She needs to be cleaned. She needs to be put back together and treated with a little bit more respect than she's gotten over the years. Parts from the charger that just fell out are here. And the trunk lid came with the car, it was actually still functional. Right here, some minor damage to the lip. But as you can see, that car has been hit very, very hard in the rear. Been ordering some parts. When we got the car, the car came without a hood, uh, without fenders. Well, not fenders. Without a hood, without doors. I uh, came with a 68 fender on the left side and a 69 fender on the right. No hood. Both bumpers. This is the rear bumper, which was saved. Actually, no damage to the rear bumper from the accident this vehicle was in. Looks a little dirty, but once it's cleaned up, that thing is almost in immaculate condition. So is the front bumper and the grill on this vehicle. Spinning around kind of fast. Didn't want to make you dizzy. Uh, but you can see there's a bunch of junk and parts here. We're still cleaning out the car. Uh, and I'll go into that in a minute or two here. Uh, the engine for the twin turbo sitting right over here. And this one here, we've uh, basically Wiseco Pistons upgraded.